What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm gonna try to mount a 360 camera onto an FPV drone. So here's the plan. We're gonna take this drone, we're gonna take off this mount, take this off, put a GoPro mount on here, put the Fusion on here, maybe on a stick, or a, like a pole-ish thing so it looks cooler. And the GoPro Fusion is very heavy, so it's going to be a little strange to fly and hopefully we don't crash. And the only thing I'm worried about is these lenses on the here on the GoPro Fusion. If these lenses break, we're kind of screwed because you can't replace them. And they're kind of important, so that's going to be tricky. But uh, I think it should work, so let's get to work, shall we? Bit sketch, but you know it should work, right? All right, guys, turning the controller on. Plugging in the batteries. Kind of nervous, not gonna lie. My plan is to fly like super low and slow for the first few runs. See what happens. And uh, just hopefully not break it, because that would suck. And it is down. All right, guys, I could hear it. I hear a beep. There it is. Oh, that's not good. The GoPro's not on there. All right, guys, so I was searching for a while, and uh, it was basically where the drone crashed, so found it I wouldn't have found it though if it wouldn't have beeped because it it was in the snow and I could hear it beep but it still took me like two minutes to find it in the snow because it was just so deep so glad I found it still looks in totally fine condition so that's good definitely was pushing my luck there flying back here and flying almost till the battery was dead so I'm pretty sure what happened is this just came off the drone so yeah, we'll have to check that out. I'm excited to see the footage though, so let's go do that now. All right guys, so I just finished uh, looking at some of the footage and it actually looks really cool. So I'll probably do some more of that sometime, so make sure you guys subscribe for that. But it's not gonna be like useful for anything like professional, obviously. Um, it's just cool for like behind the scenes kind of things, Instagram stories, and maybe some sorts of videos. And it just gives you a cool perspective of you seeing the drone flying from almost like another drone, almost, because it's above it. So that's really cool. Um, I'll definitely do some more of that. Make sure next time I strap on the camera a little better, maybe zip tie it on there. Because I had a, a Velcro strap, but that was too thick, so it was hitting the propellers, as you guys saw in that clip. So I'm going to attach that better so it doesn't fall off again. And uh, 
I saw it looks really cool when you fly the drone high and go upside down, so I'll do some more of that, of that stuff once I know the camera's on there real good. And surprisingly, the drone flew, like, really good. Like, in the beginning, I thought it was a little weird, but you got used to it, and it still had uh, plenty of power to do, like, punch-outs and jump over trees and fly under things. And it definitely makes your drone a little taller, so you have to make sure you go under gaps um, and have, leave enough space up top. But... Yeah, uh, next time I think maybe I'll mount the GoPro this way instead of uh, this way so it maybe doesn't cut the front half of the drone off like that. Um, we will try that and make sure you guys subscribe for future 360 videos. I'm going to do a review on the GoPro Fusion, which is an awesome camera to be honest. And uh, We'll talk all about that in that review, which will hopefully be coming soon. I think I'm going to go paragliding with it, so that should be awesome. And I'm going to do a lot more drone videos, so make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you in the next